Hi there. I know it's been a long time since I've done some homesteading videos, so today I'm going to talk to you about a special thing that happens right around Thanksgiving that hopefully you get on board with. And I consider it, um, this is a time sensitive one, so you want to move on this right now. So I'm actually talking today about sweet potatoes, and this is probably my favorite go to survival food crop. I love potatoes, but sweet potatoes are actually more nutritious. And if you're in a warmer climate, way easier to grow. I mean, they grow like weeds, basically. You could just get tons of these things right now. And because it is close to Thanksgiving, there are sales uh, called loss leaders, which means that a company will sell these things for practically nothing to get you to come in the store and buy, you know, pumpkin pie and turkeys and junk like that. Food Line every year does a sale, and last year it was 29 cents a pound, this year it is 39 cents a pound. Thank you, inflation. And what happens is you will try to buy the um, best looking sweet potatoes you can find. Go cherry pick them right now, and you can get 100 pounds for under 40 bucks, which, you know, I don't see things getting cheaper. But you could go get maybe 200 pounds of these things, and they will store, if you put them in a good storage area they will store um oh gosh probably we had anywhere from three to nine months depending how cool you keep them some will start growing and throwing chets others um uh, will just stay dormant and i think a lot of it is how you store them you put them in the dark and you put them in you know, let them have some air stack this so there's air going in if you want to get fancy you can put them in sand and wet sand and stuff like that but I've never really had to do that. The game plan is we'll eat a bunch of these and I'll probably eat the mutiny ones. So like the ones like this that are all beat up and scabbed. These were freebies that we got. Uh, but the ones you'll notice that we bought are beautiful. So we will keep the beautiful ones and uh, eat the funky ones first. And like these are the giant. These things are huge. They're like rugby balls. Um, and we will probably eat the mutiny ones first. And we will save the good ones. And basically, whatever is sprouting well, you'll see them start growing. Put them aside. And in the spring, start your uh, sweet potatoes with whatever's left. And this is a really good, cheap way. You can eat half the potatoes and start the rest or whatever you don't finish. And I think it's one of the smartest things right now for the price. And it's time sensitive. You want to get out and do it now. The uh, last thing I have to say about sweet potatoes is if you really want, you can ferment them and make alcohol. You know, if they really go bad, you can go that direction with potatoes. So they're never a waste. And a lot of people don't know you can eat the greens. I it took me years. I didn't know you'd eat the greens. But yeah, you look up recipes and actually eat the greens for them. One last thing I forgot to mention is when you put these in the ground, if you're in a warmer climate, you know, these things will grow practically year round. They just keep going. Uh, and if they're in a cold one, you can store them in the ground with enough mulch. They don't do as good. I tried growing them in New Hampshire, and it was hard to get them to come back, but you can store them that way. Or you take them out of the ground, store them, and put them back in, which is traditionally what people do. Uh, but for the money, you can just keep growing sweet potatoes over and over and over. And this will be a perpetual box of sweet potatoes if you do it right. You can. There's three ways... You can, well, four ways you can plant these things. You can either take the potato itself and stick it in the ground. You can wait for um, eyes to start and little chests to start. And you can cut a potato in half, let it scab, and put it in the ground. And you got two potatoes. Or you can actually take the little chets. Those are the little uh, green sprouts that grow off the edges. You can actually just take the slips off those things and plant them in the ground. And lastly, you can actually cut the ends of the sweet potato when it's growing, the leaves, kind of tie them, twist them in a circle and a knot and put them in the ground. And there are multiple ways to do this. So it's so easy to perpetuate these things and keep them going. It's my favorite, I think, for the vitamin count, the calories, and for the ease, probably my favorite survival food. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully I'll have a Patreon channel up and running eventually. and. 
what I'm going to be doing is starting a homestead again and making a lot of videos about growing food and being self-supportive, especially in this crazy world right now. You need to feed yourself and take care of your family. So check it out. Subscribe, stick with, whatever the cool thing is to do right now.